Okay, let's talk about drawing some straight lines. Now, obviously, I've uh, done some sketching in my day, and I can do a pretty good straight line. And you'll notice most of the time I do a nice horizontal line. And uh, every once in a while I can do a pretty good job and get them parallel, although in this case we don't particularly have that, do we? So let me tell you or show you some techniques to help you draw some nice straight lines. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this sheet of paper here. And we'll bring over another piece right here. We'll put this in our drawing board. Now, typically what you want to do is when you're drawing a straight line is you do not want to look at your pencil tip. All right? You don't want to sit here, take a look at the, and just kind of keep a bead of your eye on the tip of that pencil. Because what's going to happen is you're going to track that pencil and it's going to be hard for you to keep straight line. That's not what you want to do. It'll, you'll tend to waffle and waver, as you can see right in this area. Okay? What you want to do is you want to look, put your pencil where you're going to start, and look where you want to go. Now, a lot of times people use a technique where they'll put a point out here. Okay? Now, typically I would not do that in a uh, point seven or a real dark. I'd take my construction grade and I'd do a little mark. But that's going to be kind of hard to see for our demonstration, so I'm going to make a nice dark one. Then we'll start our pencil where we want to begin, put our pencil where we want to begin, look, constantly looking at that point. Again, don't look at the tip as you're drawing, look at where you're going, keep your eyes over here, and then draw your line right to that point. Now you see I missed it, so let's try it again. A little bit better. And you'll see the second time I did it, my line is a little bit better. You can see how I wavered here, and the reason I did is I actually did look at the bottom of my pencil, which is what I told you not to do, so don't do that. So you can see that's a good way to do that. Now some people will use a technique known as feathering. And feathering, what they'll do is they'll come in here and they'll put a point where they want to end, a point where they want to start, and I'll do these in construction, darken those up. And then they start doing this business where they feather to get there. And so they're slowly working to get there, and then they finally get there. But what I don't like is I don't like these lines that show up, these little lines. Okay? And that's, a, that's called feathering. So I'll put that feather. That's a feathering technique. Another one, another technique that some people will use is they'll use a series of short lines. So they'll put a point here and put a point here, and they're kind of putting points and getting to where they need to go eventually, which is similar to feathering, but the, the, the lengths of the line segments are a little bit longer. So again, what they're doing is they're starting at a point, they're looking where they're going, and then they draw that line. They start there, look to where they're going for the next line, and then they go there, and then they look for the next line, and so on and so forth. So what they get is a line that I think looks a little cleaner because they don't have this feathering business, but I still see these breaks. Okay, and I don't like those. I'm not particularly fond of those breaks. But both of these are a good technique to use for beginning technical sketching folks because it, it, it's, it tends to get you ready for straight lines. What we want to work to though is that point here, point there, and then draw that line to get there and get some nice long straight lines. But it does take time to get there. So if you'd like to start, you can start with the feathering technique to get used to the process. Then maybe you'll move up to the line segments. Again, these are line segments. That's the line segment process. Okay. But eventually I want you to get to end point to end point and draw and go. Okay. So that's what we're looking at for drawing straight lines. Now I focus primarily on horizontal lines. The same technique would apply for vertical lines. So you could start here, end here, and typically students, early students find that it's easier to do that. It's easier to drop down. Uh, I find that, you know, I've gotten pretty good over the years at horizontal lines, as you can see. And another technique I find is that students who have problems doing horizontal lines, you know, you, this paper isn't stuck here. We just do this, draw it, and do it that way, and we've got a vertical line. Actually, I think I said vertical or horizontal line. I'm in a vertical line, so there's a vertical line. So if you have problems doing vertical lines, but you can do horizontal lines, then just flip your paper 90 degrees and do it that way. Or, let's say you are better off doing vertical lines, and you need to do horizontal lines. Well, then we can rotate it, start point, end point, do our line, rotate it back, and lo and behold, look at that, horizontal line. So, those are some techniques that you can use to draw straight lines. Now, in the next video, we'll take a look at doing some uh, angled or inclined lines.